Mm -hmm. Okay? So now let us look at 2018 paper 1. Uh, it's saying in the diagram below, in the diagram below, O is the center of the circle. Now, in this circle, where O is the center, the points A, B, C, and D are forming what you call a quadrature, a cyclic quadrature. This one, A, B, C, and D. These are forming a cyclic quadrature because these are points attaching, uh, sorry, these are four points attaching the circle, which is uh, on the circumference, okay? So now, AD, is, uh, AD meets the line from C at C, at E, sorry, such that uh, CD is equal to, so CD, they are saying, uh, CD is equal to DE, yes. Okay, so CD and DE, these are equal, no wonder they put these at, simply means this to our at. This one and this one are what? Uh, are equal, okay? And angle AOC is equal to 120. AOC is equal to 120. Where is AOC? AOC is equal to 1. This is 120. Now, the first question is saying, uh, calculate ADC. They want us to find this angle ADC. They want us to find this angle, okay? Angle D, angle A, D, C, okay? So they want us to find this angle. Now, how do we find this angle? Okay, we know that this is the angle at the center. We know that the angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference, okay? The angle at the center is twice the angle on the circumference. Are we together? So this if this is 120, for you to know the angle on the circumference, if the angle at the center is 120, you want to know the angle of the circumference. You just divide 120 by 2. You get the angle of the circum circumference. So, finding this angle, finding this angle, which is the angle on the circumference, finding this angle, which is the angle on the circumference, which is angle A, A, D, C. Which is question A. Question A. We are going to say A, D, C is equal to 100, 120 degrees divided by what? By 2, which is the angle at the center divided by 2. So A, D, C is equal to 120 divided by 2, get what? 60 degrees. So this is 60 degrees. So this one is 60 degrees. Okay. The angle at the center is twice the angle of the circumference. So if you want to get the angle, if you want to get 120, you just multiply 60 uh, multiplied by 2, you get 120. So we can look at question A. Say what? Question B say find the angle ABC. Where is ABC? A, B, C. They want us to find this angle. This is the angle they want us to find. They want us to find this angle. This angle, angle ABC. So it's a two-way thing. You can say, if you want, you can say you find first this reflex angle this side. You can find this reflex angle this side. You can first find this reflex angle this side. And then you divide by 2. You get this angle. Okay? I'm saying for you to find angle A, B, C, you can first find this reflex angle. And then divide this reflex angle by what? To get this angle. Okay? Let me try to just use this method so that I can show you. So, we want angle what? What angle do you want? Angle A, B, C. So, we are going to say question 1. We said B, we said A, B, C. I'm saying, first find the reflex angle, this reflex angle. So how do you find this one? You just say 360 divided by uh, minus C, 120. 360 minus 120, then divided by 2. So 360 minus 120, the answer you get is divided by what? By 2, get angle ABC. So angle ABC can move on and say what is um, 300 divided minus 1, you get 2, is it 240 divided by what? Divided by 2. Okay, let me just refer. I will say uh, 360 minus 120. So 0 minus 0 is 0, then 6 minus 2 get 4, 3 minus 1 gets 2, this is the 240 I'm talking about. So you can move on and say A, 
BC is equal to uh, 2 into uh, 2 is 1, then uh, 2 into uh, 2 into uh, 4 is what? It's 2, then 2 into 0 is 0, so I have 120. So angle ABC is what? 120. Or alternatively, you can say, alternatively, or you can say, question B, or you can say A, A, or ABC is equal to, you can also use this property which states uh, that since these are the points A, A, B, C, and D, these are forming a cyclic quadrilateral, and you know that opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplemented, they add up to 180. So this angle, angle ABC and angle ADC, they add up to 180 these two. So for us to find uh, this angle, we are supposed to subtract 180 minus 60 to get this angle. So so we say uh, ABC is equal to 180 degrees minus ADC. So ABC is equal to 180 degrees minus, what is AD? ADC, you get what? 60. This one, A, ADC is 60. So A, B, C is equal to 180 minus 60, you get what? You get uh, 120 degrees. So you can also use this method. That is if you are not convinced and comfortable with this one, you can also use this one. By just the opposite angles of the side in quadrilateral add up to 180. So out of 180, you have 60. So for me to know this other angle, I'm just supposed to subtract 180 minus the given angle, you get uh, ABC. Okay, the last one is uh, angle what? D, what is this one? D, E, C. A D, E, C, they want this angle. Okay, this is the angle they want. Okay, now, you know that uh, since they are saying C, D, and D, E are equal, C, D, uh, C, D, and D, E are what? These two are equal. Else, the, the triangle which is formed, it is what? Uh, it is what? It is uh, what? An isosceles what? Triangle. So this triangle is an isosceles triangle. So meaning the best angles of this triangle are going to be equal. So this angle and this angle are what? These angles are equal. Okay? So what you are going to do is then just come up with a sketch of this diagram so that you see what I'm talking about. So we have this one. We have a situation like this. We have a situation like this. Okay? We have a situation like this, okay? This is the situation we have, where this is A, D, we have E. Then we have uh, C, we have C, this one. So they are saying these two are equal, okay? And this is, take note, this is sickest. This is what, sickest. Okay, this is sickest degrees. So, since we know that uh, these are the base angles, of these are equal, these are equal. So if this is x, this is also what? x. Okay, these are equal. So if this is x, this is also x. This we don't know why. Then you can find this angle, this angle. By using the property of a straight line, angles formed on a straight line add up to 180. So let's find this angle, this angle, this angle. So we're going to say, for us to find this angle, we're going to say, 180 minus what? Minus 60. Okay, angles formed on a straight line add up to 180. But out of 180, you have this 60. So for us to know the remaining angle, just 180 minus 60, you get 120. 120. So meaning this angle is 120. We can now find x and say, we know that the sum of interior angles in a triangle add up to 180. So you say x, this angle plus x, this angle plus. 120 this angle take note okay is equal to 180 degrees so x plus x gets 2x is equal to 180 when transpose this on the other side the window of what 120 okay so 2x is equal to 180 minus 120 to get 60 60 then for us to remain with x divide both sides by the coefficient of x which is 2 so we will decide by 2, these two are going to go. So x is equal to 
2 and 2 are 68, 30. Okay? So I say uh, this angle is white, this angle is 30, and this angle is also white. 30, take note. So now what do we want? They are saying uh, find angle D E C. Uh, why is D E C? D E C. This is uh, 30 degrees. So you just say uh, D E C is equal to X. Therefore, D E C is equal to what is our X state? So this one becomes a uh, So the answers are for A D A D C is what? A D C you say it is 60. So this one is 60 degrees. Then A B C you say it's what? 120. And A so D E C is 30 degrees. So these are the solutions to this question. Okay? Huh.